Shalom Kolayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Also, the Bible said, also, GMS and honest to you, Akim. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen to Church of the Firstborn, the whole full elect. Kolayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. In this quick video today, it's probably Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I originally wasn't going to do this video, I had just posted in a community post. But you know, there's lessons in everything, all right? About deceitful brothers, false brethren, agents, and spies, man. Right, you had this demonic nigga, little Dirk, another drill rapper. Mosai's been killing all you niggas. You niggas being locked up. Man, that whole genre is done, man. Any of you niggas that want to be celebrities in 2024, you are insane. Okay? Mosai's getting all these niggas. got Diddy locked up. All, the, all these niggas are dead. All right? Mosai's been smoking you guys, man. This dude, King Von, not King Von, the little Dirk. I think he just got the keys to Chicago. I think he got some awards this year. I think it was um, certain Grammys or whatever the case is, certain awards for his achievement. And then, bam, he got locked up. Murder for hire. And guess who did him in? His so-called childhood friend. Okay, his childhood friend, man, who did a 12-year bid. As soon as he came out, he gave this guy 50000 bought him a car, and bought him a house and took care of him. And he was wearing a wire for two years, man. Damn. See, but that's all the judgment of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Scripture says, He that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, man. You see? You niggas are demonic, man. And that's what you get, man. Alright? But like I said, there's lessons in everything. That's why the scripture says, if you have a friend, briefly paraphrase the Sirach, the sixth chapter, you're supposed to prove him first and don't be hasty to credit him. You got to try him. All right? Because in the day of trouble, he's not going to abide with you, man. Right? Those are false brethren. See, he's in it for a while, but when it start getting hot, he ain't going to be there, man. In this case with this dude, you know, he revealed all your secrets, even though, like we say, you niggas are demons anyway. To the enemy, man. He handed you over to the enemy, man. And he used what he can get out of you, man. And now you're going away for good, man. And like we said, call him now, Yahweh Bashim El Shah, man. Before I get to those precepts on false brethren, we read Sirach chapter 13, verse 16. So you got to prove your friends first, man. And everybody laugh in your face and talk with you and supposedly cool with you as your friend, man. Right? Like the scripture says, some people are your friends for their for their own occasion. Certain family members are like that. Okay? And you got to cut them niggas off too, man. Shitty friends, shitty family members. If your woman is a demon and she ain't right, you got to get rid of her. The scripture says, if your right hand offends, you cut it off, man. Because in these last days of persecution that's about to come upon us, everybody's anticipating this election, what's about to go down. All right? Coming after this election, man. We know America is not going to be the same. It's going to be great division, civil war. I shall go and, uh, uh, come down on the prophets. We're going to be hated by all men for his namesake. Yeah, I was shy. It's going to be high level betrayals, man. Hell, you might have agents in your camp, man. I'm going to get those precepts in a minute. But concerning little Dirk, all right? Nobody's shedding the tear for you. Good riddance, nigga. Okay? Let me get because the scripture says this. All right, they said he was, you know, emotional about the whole thing. What about all the crime and dirt that you did, man? Right, you reap what you sow, man. Right, and it's the Most High that did that too, right? I'm gonna get that Judges the ninth chapter. Scripture says this though, all right. All you niggas are a bunch of reservoir dogs, man. There ain't no loyalty in that game, man. The streets, right? All you Jake sucker, I'm a real one. Give me a freaking break, man. Okay. Niggas a bunch of rats, man. All right. The scripture says this. Sirach chapter 13, verse 16. It says. This is 15. Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh consorted according to kind. And a man will cleave to his like. Okay. Uh, every man is going to cleave to his like, man. Like I said, birds of a feather flock together. Right. You guys have the same demonic spirit. That's why you were friends. See, and when you know in that world, there's no loyalty. The niggas be committing adultery on each other's baby moms, plotting on each other. Okay, in this case, snitching on each other, man. 
Scripture says, man, a man cleave it to his like, man. So the most I got you guys devouring one another, just like he did to Abimelech. When you read Judges the ninth chapter, we get that Judges chapter nine. Right, let me get that because what did he do? Let me get that Judges the ninth chapter. Actually, let's get it right because Abimelech, I think it was the son of Gideon, or one of his concubines, and he killed sixty nine of his brothers, man, except for Jotham. Okay, but what happened though? This is what the scripture says. It says, um, Judges chapter 9, and the men that helped him carry out the act, this is what the Lord did. It says, Judges chapter 9, verse 20, and if it not be, let fire come out of Behemoth like and devour the men of Shechem in the house of Milo, and let fire come from the, the men of Shechem and from the house of Milo and devour Behemoth like. And Jotham ran away and fled and went to Bear and dwelt there for the fear of Abimelech, his brother. So this guy, just for him to reign, he slew all his brothers, man, except for one. Right. And the men that was his own men that was with him, what the scripture says. Um, and Abimelech. Abimelech, Abimelech, and when Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel. Then a Mosai sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. And the men of Shechem dwelt treacherously with Abimelech. Okay? That the cruelty done to the three score and ten sons of Jerubel might come and a blood be laid upon Abimelech, their brother, man. All right? So. And it says, which slew them and upon the men of Shechem, which aided him in the killing of his brethren. So what did the Most High do? The same men that helped him carry out the act. And who did this? The Most High. For you Christians who say, oh, God, don't do. She says, he said, I control um, peace and evil. I form the light and create darkness. I create peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things, man. And the scripture says he mingled what? He sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem that helped him carry out the act. That's the same that happened with you, little dirt man. All the wickedness you've been doing for years. Your close kin. Your 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 childhood friend. A part of your only the family group. Right? You consider them your brother, man. Well, he traded you, handed you over to the feds, man. Because why the Most High mingled an evil spirit amongst y'all, man. All right. But like I was saying before, concerning the ministry, you're going to have this as well, man. False brethren, man. Spies and agents, man. Working for the enemy, man. This is why the scripture says, we get Sirach the 11th chapter. I'm going to stay in Sirach a lot today because it brought a lot of wise sayings. All right. This is wisdom right here, man. And when you go into the backstory of Sirach, this was for men that were designed to be rulers. Right. When you go into this, um, it tells you that his his writings were hidden for a long time. These were the Jews down in Egypt. All right. Let me get this, though. Sirach chapter 11. So he's giving you game on how to move in the spirit, man. And one of the things he said was. Sirach chapter 11, verse 29. Bring not every man into thine house, for the deceitful man have many trains. So this guy was in your house breaking bread with you, laughing and smiling this whole time. Your childhood friend, you think he need down? This is my brother. This nigga was wearing a wire for two freaking years, man. Right? And this is even brothers, you know, that have camps and congregations, man. You got to vet brothers, man. You have to try them, man. See, some of them may not be agent for Aisha, they might be an agent for Satan, man. Nigga might be a thief, he might be eyeing. You ain't supposed to have your woman around, brothers, man. But let's say at the high holy day, let's say, I don't know, because a lot of these other camps be doing that. Right? Might be eyeing your woman. See, plotting. Shit like that happened before, man. So that's what scripture says, where don't be bringing every man into your house. All right? It says, like a. It's like a. Like as a partridge taken and kept in a cage, a bird, 
So is the heart of the proud, and like as a spy watcheth he for thy fall. See? Deceitful brothers, man. Working for the enemy. Bringing intel back. You had that, they came up with that uh, documentary, uh, how the uh, Fred Hampton fell from the Panthers. You're that damn agent, William O'Neill, man. Okay, he was the, uh, the Judas of that group. See, giving intel to the FBI, going to the, um, and became a, a member of the um, the Black Panthers, man. But he was running back to Aisha, and that's how they came in and they killed Fred Hampton, man. And the rest of those Panthers because of him. And he later on took his life, just like Judas Iscariot. See, many of you guys that are spies and agents, you're going to be destroyed any damn way, man. But because you're part of the story as well. All right. But the scripture is giving us wisdom how to move. OK, you may have suspicions about certain men. man. See, and you got to pray on that as well. But the most I can reveal it all in due time anyway, man. But scripture says, for he lieth in wait and turneth good into evil and things worthy praise will lay blame upon thee. Right. So this man, he, you know, he's he's watching your every move. All right. The scripture said, hell, he may try to lure you into danger. So you have to be wary of certain men. man. Right. Scripture said verse 31. No, verse 32 of a spark of fire, heap of coals is kindled and a sinful man lay for wait, waited for blood. Take heed of a mischievous man, for he worked wickedness. Let's see, bring upon thee a perpetual blot, man. Okay, so the scriptures, man, see, see, he may suggest something to, uh, to cast blame upon the ministry, man. That's what we question certain guys when they do certain things, man. Why would you go in the middle of certain protests? Like, you know, that whole Israel and Palestine. Why would you go in the heart of that, man? See, and then say, yeah, we're gonna, you know, um, they did our brothers dirty, man. We got to go back out there. And you see, you got to watch men like that, man. See? So that's what the scriptures are saying. You know, just invite every man into your house. Don't let every man just join your camp, man. All right? Scripture says, oh, let me read on. Receive a stranger into thine house, and he will disturb thee and turn thee out of thine own. And like I said, that could be actual house or your camp, man. Right? He can bring a lot of troubles, uh, uh, to your to your, uh, your your house or your congregation. See, because like the scripture says, he's like a spy, man. He's trying to lure you into danger. Like we said, he's trying to cast blame upon the ministry. So you have to be careful in choosing your friends, man, or a.k.a. your brothers, man. All right, because like it happened to you, I was shy. OK, let me get um, let me get Psalms, the 55th chapter. Hell, it happened to King David. All right. Let me get that Psalms 55, actually. So like we say, yeah, you know, little Dirk, you know, he a demonic nigga anyway. And it was going to happen to you regardless, man. That was the Lord that got you, man. But like we said, in these last days, that's going to happen because the Howard Shai also said it as well. Let me get that after. But they get Psalms chapter 55, verse, I believe it's verse 12. Psalm 55, verse 12. This is what King David said. For it was not an enemy that reproached me, that hated me. Then I could have borne it. I'll be able to deal with it. If it's an enemy that did it to me, I'll be able to deal with it because I'm expecting it. Neither was it he that hated me, that it that it that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man, mine equal, my God and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of the most high in company. Right. So he's saying, listen, if it was an enemy, if it was somebody that hated me, I'd be able to bear it. man. But it was a man, mine equal. Right. I thought it was a brother, man. It was a brother, a so-called righteous man, mine acquaintance. Right. We taught together. We were in the same camp. See, we took sweet counsel talking about the kingdom to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man. And he ended up betraying me, man. Like we said, just with Judas and the Lord. I believe that's Psalms the 41st chapter. Right? King David and uh how you call it? What's the 
at Jake's name. And it said his counsel was like the counsel of an angel. I think it was a fee, a fee popel. If I can remember. I think that's in uh second Samuel 16. Let me see. Because he uh betrayed King David and teamed up with Absalom. Right? And uh King David prayed against this guy, man. Right, that his counsel would fail. Because the scripture says oh, it was a thief thief opel. Let me up. Second Kings Second Samuel sixteen. Let me read Second Samuel sixteen and twenty. Then said Absalom to a thief opel, give counsel among you what we shall do. Right? And a thief opel said unto Absalom, Go in unto thy father's concubine. So when Absalom did what he did, having sex with his father's concubine in front of all of Israel. Who gave him that counsel? It was a man that supposedly uh, was King David's friend. See, but he betrayed King David, man. That's why verse 23, it says, And the counsel of Athethopel, which he counseled in those days, was as if a man had inquired at the oracle of the Most High. The oracle of the Most High, the prophets. So it was all the counsel of Athethopel, both with David and with Absalom. So he was originally a counselor for King David. And when Absalom betrayed King David, he's the one that was giving him counsel, man. So King David said, listen, if it was your enemy that hated me, I could deal with it, man. But it was a man mine equal, man. All right. And like we said before, you're going to have that in this day and time. False brethren. All right. Spies, agents. Men that you thought were down with the cause. End up handing your ass in. No different because it happened to Yahweh Shai, man. And if you don't think that you got certain men in camps doing these things, then you are insane. You're not in the spirit, right? <clears throat> That's why King David said, um, verse Psalm 55 15, let death seize upon them and let them go down quick into hell or the grave, for wickedness is in a dwellings among them. All right, as for me, I will call upon the Most High and Yahweh Bashimel Shai shall save me man right the lord gonna save his elect man all right so the house of david we know gonna be delivered man so you know i want to you know get some you know few precepts let me get two more scriptures actually right because the was shy said let me get that in fact let me go back to sirach and let me read what you was shy said I think it's Sirach, was it 3027? We're in this precept in a minute, actually. Sirach 27, verse 16. Oh, it says, Whoso discovereth secrets loseth his credit and shall never find a friend to his mind. Right? So if a brother tell you something that, you know, that's a, a secret, you don't be go out there revealing it, man. All right? Scripture says what? You're supposed to, you can't befriend a man like that. Okay. It says, love thy friend and be faithful unto him. For thou betrayest his secrets, follow no more after him. Right. He's betrayed your secret. He betrayed your trust. And it's no different than him. Um. Uh, uh, what's I want to say? Uh, it's no different than you literally stabbing him in the back. That's basically what you just did. Right. Right, you betraying his secrets is like you took up a weapon against your friend or your brother, man. So you can't fuck with a guy like that, man. Right, excuse my French, that's just a fact. Right, let me get another one. It's Sirach, the 37th chapter, and I'm going to read what Jehovah Shai said. Right, so we living in a very cold time, right? Scripture said the love of many going to wax cold. The not scripture says, the 2nd Ezra, 30th chapter, that friends are going to fight one another. This is the time period that we living in, Right? false brethren people gonna be handing you in okay and the scripture says let me get Sirach the 37th chapter verse 1 and then I'm gonna read what Yahweh Shai said I'm gonna close this lesson out Sirach 37 verse 1 it says every friend saith I'm his friend also but there's a friend which is only a friend in name is it not a grief unto death when a companion and friend is turned to an enemy as grievous man because we just read how King David fell in the Psalms of 55th chapter. Right? You had a spy amongst the 12. Right? During the time of Yahweh Shai. Right? It says, um, let me jump to verse 4. 
There is a companion which rejoices in prosperity of a friend, but in the time of trouble will be against him. See, he turned his back on him. Uh, verse 5. There is a companion which helpeth his friend for the belly, and taketh up the buckler against the enemy, because that's a, that's a true brother. Right? And verse 6 says, Forget not thy friend in thy mind, and be not unmindful of him in thy riches. So if you achieve the victory, so does he, man. He wins. That's a true brother, man. That's a true team. Right? Even amongst in the sports world, you have that, man. Certain guys envy one another, and that affects the entire team, man. But if everybody's working in one accord, I don't care if he has the most amount of touchdowns. He scored that touchdown, man, or he scored that basket, that winning basket. We all win, man. And that's how we are in this truth, man. We don't envy no brother because he got a lot of views or this brother's a better speaker. Or this brother's he's very eloquent or great with the breakdowns. Are you going to be envious say your brother, man? That means you in the spirit of Cain, man. Right? So that's the scriptures is completely against that, man. See, Yahweh Shai taught the power of brotherhood, man, being a true friend, man. Right, but like we said in these last days, you're gonna have a lot of high level betrayals, friends against each other, and even family members. We get that Mark chapter 13, verse 12. I'm gonna close this out. Mark 13 and 10. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead and deliver you, mm, right? So let me finish that. It says, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand. I want to do another video on the persecution, man, because this is coming, man. Right? Everybody's anticipating uh, this election and what's about to go down after it. Right? It's, it's, it's going down, man. All right? It says, take no thought beforehand what he shall speak, neither do he premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not he that speak, but the Holy Spirit. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death. The father, the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. And he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So Yahweh Shai is what he's fortifying his apostles, his disciples' mind. Listen, don't be surprised if your mother, your father, your brother, your so-called friend give you up, man. Don't be surprised, man. Don't be a surprise if you have false brethren or agents in your camp. Don't be surprised, man. Okay? Yeah, we have the world hate us two-thirds, but don't be surprised you're close kin or you have false brethren amongst you. Right, because he said you're gonna be hated for all men for my name's sake, but if you do it to the end, you are going to be saved, man. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, man. All right. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. Like to say, Koholoyim la Yahweh Bahashimi Yahweh Shai Shalom.